to Angular built a whole bunch of hype around its special event. And now that the event is behind us, the question that you might have is what's changed and if this is a framework that you need to switch to. So let's summarize the updates. First off, I want to be clear that this is not the same as the massive shift that we previously had between AngularJS to Angular. This is much more of an incremental change. And honestly, it's just the standard version to version change that you would expect for any other framework. It's basically a new documentation site called angular.dev with a new nice logo. And a shining feature of this new site is the ability to play around with Angular projects in the tutorial section as well as within the playground. Now this is not something that you couldn't do before because after all Code Sandbox has existed for a while, but it's nice that all of this is contained within the main documentation site. And you can see the new logo for Angular within the left hand sidebar as well as within the Favicon. And I'll leave it to you to make your own decision if you like this or not. It does come in two flavors. One is with the gradient and the dark version is just black with some white space in between. In terms of Angular version upgrade, this is in time for Angular version 17. And the big change over there within the roadmap that also now exists within Angular.dev is the graduation of signals to be the way that you should manage your component state going forward. I absolutely love signals and the best way to learn them in my opinion is to actually use them within the framework that popularized this term which is SolidJS and I do have a lesson on SolidJS on my channel which sort of describes why SolidJS and signals are actually a better abstraction than for example use state. And that basically summarizes what's new for Angular at a high level. Honestly, more than technology, this is a great sample of good marketing because with just incremental changes that don't adversely affect existing Angular developers, everyone else has all of a sudden taken another look at Angular. As always, thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next one.